How's it going everybody? This is Matt with Crisis Point Racing and today we're going to be swapping out the brake and clutch fluids. Uh, anytime you buy a used car, of course, uh, to, especially if you're going to take it to the track, you definitely want to change out those fluids. You have no idea when the last time the previous owner did it and probably it's been in there since the life of the car. So uh, we're going to go ahead and swap those out today and let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be changing out the uh, clutch fluid and also bleeding all the brakes and replacing the uh, brake fluid in the car. Uh, so for the brakes, we're going to need our power bleeder, which was a nice gift from my mom. Thanks, mom. Uh, we're going to need our brake fluid, uh, good racing brake fluid here, and we're going to need a, a, a catch bottle uh, for it. And then when we do the clutch, uh, we'll need our uh, giant syringe, which when it showed up said it came for a... Uh, uh, a catheter, which is kind of scary, but you know, whatever. Uh, but we'll need this. We'll need somewhere to put the fluid uh, so we can dispose of it properly, and a hose to attach to the uh, nozzle at the end of this uh, syringe. Uh, so I don't have to dip that down in there. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and take the cap off the uh, clutch fluid reservoir. Take a little peek in there. We got the cap. We have this. Uh, rubber gasket here kind of keeps air out go ahead and do that and I can already see inside here that this stuff is pretty nasty you'll see when I take it out a little bit on there here all right let's go ahead and uh, see if we can drain this up press all the air out let's go ahead and see if I can get that out in there go ahead and suck some of this out Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a shop towel and get in here and kind of get some of this gunk out if I can. <clears throat> I can see a nice ring of uh, debris in here. Go ahead and see if we can get that out. Alright, and I can already see that the rest of the stuff is still pretty nasty, so what I'm going to do is put more in here up to the little indentation here, uh, to the fill line, and then what I'll do is go pump this about 40 times, uh, then hop back in here and repeat the procedure. Okay, as you can see, all these little particle bits that are uh, hanging out here in my clutch fluid, that's not good, so good thing we did this today. Okay, so it took me about... Six, uh, six times through pumping the clutch about 40 times each and then removing the fluid and all the sediment that was in there. You could see that this stuff was pretty dark and pretty nasty. I must have removed, I don't know, at least a tables or a, a teaspoon's worth of uh, debris out of there. But uh, now it's nice and clear. And uh, yeah, now we'll move on to the brakes. Okay, you can see we're here in the engine bay now, and what we're going to do to start is basically suck out a lot of this old fluid uh, out of here using our handy syringe. And as you can see, I got smart with the last one and uh, I cut this hose off just about where I need it instead of having all that stuff uh, in my way. So we're going to suck all the fluid out of this. Uh, we're going to reef, well not all of it, don't let uh, uh, the bottom get exposed so you don't introduce air into the system. Uh, but then we're going to top it off with uh, uh, some of our new brake fluid. I'm going to attach my power bleeder on top of here, uh, tighten it down pretty good, and then pressure it up to uh, just about 12 PSI on this guy. And then we're gonna go back to the, uh, the right rear and bleed the brakes.
about 12 PSI there, maybe a little bit more. All right. It's holding steady, so we got pressure in the system, and we're ready to bleed the brakes. Okay, here we are in the right rear. Uh, so as back here, you can see here's the uh, uh, the bleeder. It's got a little uh, uh, rubber cap on it. We'll go ahead and take that off. Maybe. There we go. You see you got our 10 millimeter uh, uh, box set here. Go in here, we'll give it a little crank. Uh, then I'll hook up the uh, bottle bleeder here. Uh, it has that nice lanyard on it that I uh, saw the froggy video. Uh, then we'll attach the uh, the end of this uh, to here, and we'll slowly bleed it uh, according to the uh, uh, froggy method up to about the bottom of this label. Uh, so I'll get started on that, and we'll be back. Okay, we're done with the uh, right rear, and as you can see, we got the a nice bottle uh, filled up just about to the bottom of the uh, the label. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut it off now with our uh, uh, 10 millimeter wrench and give it a nice turn, and uh, take the bottle off, and then uh, we'll do the other three quarters. Yeah, something else I wanted to note here was that uh, I'm actually releasing the pressure on this uh, after each uh, each corner uh, to refill the reservoir full of brake fluid. Now, uh, I don't know if that's totally necessary, but I didn't want to run the risk of uh, uh, running out of fluid and then getting air in the system, which would be very bad. So I went ahead and everything, it took a little bit longer, but uh, uh, because of it, but I'm uh, taking the opportunity at each corner to refill the reservoir. Uh, so that doesn't happen to me. Yeah, you can actually see here also that it uh, looks like I have a slow leak somewhere in this system, but uh, uh, so far it's been bleeding just fine, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. All right, onto the, onto the next quarter. Okay, so here we are in the uh, passenger right front, uh, second to last what we're gonna do here. And uh, you can notice that the, uh, the bleeder is actually on top instead of on the side like they were at the rear. Uh, something else I just noticed here is that whoever has been in here last, really rounded off these nuts pretty good. So uh, you never know when you get these used cars, what's, what you're gonna find, but uh, uh, this nut is uh, gonna be difficult to uh, to loosen up. I, I noticed that all of them were pretty tight. Uh, the uh, right rear was actually okay in terms of uh, the nut, but these may need to be replaced soon. So uh, we'll get started. I'll go ahead and hook the bottle up and uh, loosen it up. Okay, it took me a while, but I finally got that bastard off. Uh, and what I ended up having to do is that the top of the nut is totally rounded off. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, uh, the bottom of the nut was still pretty good and it was protected by this little uh, uh, rubber cover that goes on top of the bleeder. So I was able to get a socket down on it and uh, get the good part of the nut and uh, 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 get that thing off and bleeding. So we're going to fill this thing up uh, per the frog instructions up to the top of the label uh, on the uh, uh, right front and then uh, we'll go do the driver's side um, yeah so go ahead and let this bleed and uh, we'll be back also uh, now that we're on the final corner this is what the nut should look like uh, this looks pretty good it's not rounded off and look like a piece of trash like uh, two of the others on this car uh, this is gonna make it a lot easier I took about half an hour on the last one uh, uh, trying not to break it but also uh, get the nut off uh, but uh, this is what it's supposed to look like on the final corner. Uh, we got our bottle ready to go here. We're going to fill it up to the top uh, for this one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and bleed it, and that'll be a wrap on this. Okay, so that's brake and clutch fluid done. Not too hard. Uh, we do have differential and transmission fluid coming up, which would be a little bit more difficult. And luckily, I'm going to have my buddy Kala drop in on that one. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Crisis Point Racing.